Hi then guys and welcome to another one and I'm just leaving the uh, ski resort on the A82 where I've been uh, parked up for the last few nights um, just doing some photography. The main purpose of this uh, video is that we am doing Glenative or I'm doing Glenative as Dawn's not with us this week. So yeah, I'm up here for a fortnight on my own to stick with us, enjoy, catch you in a bit. Morning guys, and we met, oh dear, when is he? Five o'clock. Morning guys, and we met five o'clock, which is where we've parked through the night. I'll just uh, turn around and show you that. And we met a place called, I think it's the Bulkle Mountain, that's behind me. We're here for a sunrise, the sun is just starting to get round so I need to make a, a runner footy. If you just look at that mountain there, you can see the light. So it's over long now, it be round catching that one. And obviously we want to... So today it's going to be absolutely midge crazy. That's going to be down to there's no wind about at all, very little. I'm mean, about to walk through a bit of a uh, mud bath, to be honest with you, that's what they love, you know. Let me just turn you around. As you can see on the ground, I mean, it takes a bad now, but if you were to be coming round in the winter, this is like a mud bath, and you will need Wellingtons. It's no good thinking, I'll do it in shoes because they end up losing them and the mud's up to your ankles. I don't think there'll be a lot of water on here today. They've not had a lot of rain. So I think we've just got here in time. Like I said, there's not a lot of water on here today. As a rule, well, not as a rule, but in the winter, the water is overflowing over all of this, all of this slab brushing, brushing water coming through. Okay then guys, as you can see, the old uh, mozzie nits on the mid. Absolutely, I don't know if this is picking them up. It is just ain't to pick them up. But there's absolutely hundreds, if not thousands, of little shites all over the place. Anyway, let me turn you down and let me show you what we've got. Look at that guy. Is that a picture or what? Is that worth getting out of bed for in the morning? We're just getting all these bits of uh, fog and it's not lighting up now. We've got a beautiful strip of light. Absolutely gorgeous that looks. Running across to the bottom of the mountain. And then obviously at the top, there's not there's got any light in it yet. We've just started to catch these rocks as well now. So obviously there must be a clear, must be, when I'm looking behind me, we've got a strip of cloud and that's what's blocking the top off from being lit up. Obviously, as the day goes on, that's going to move. We're going to get a few more shots while this light's about. Absolutely gorgeous. And, and we'll get back to in a bit. That's the other guys.
Okay then guys, so <clears throat> I've just popped the the waterfall I've just been doing is just down the bottom there so I've just come back onto the road, crossed the bridge, made my way across these moors just to photograph it from, from this point and uh, what I've got here just got this little bit of water future I suppose you can call it I know in the winter this has uh, got a bit more water on it again it's dried up you can actually see where the water level would come to as a rule anyway this is what we've got today so I've just uh, sod this up so we've got some of these uh, these little flower things looks like seeds what have been um, what have opened I was guessing again took away on the on the wind and then we've got the mountain behind it and that's where I'm shooting now I'm just waiting for some light to a deal in the mountain as you've uh, seen this morning I've had some crazy light on it's been absolutely fantastic but now we've got the clouds come in I don't know if it's going to get any better than this today guys now because uh, we haven't forecasted rain here today but it was so worth getting up at stupid o'clock this morning to come and catch that first light I'd have been a little bit disappointed with the light now um, if, if we'd have had this first thing but there you go so the setup is um, we want 20 millimeter we want a 14 to 30 lens at 20 millimeter we want one two fiftieth of a second now the reason I've got the shorter speed so why is because the wind's just catching these these little flows I just want to freeze them or near as damage freeze them I didn't want them blurred out there's no need to have a long exposure on here because well we've got no waterfall to do it on um, so we've got an ISO of 500 um, we want f8 and we want 1 to 50th of a second and that's uh, that's doing the job just wait now for some light on the guitar fella What a view guys, what a view. So I come down here yesterday and you could you couldn't uh, see a lot of the mountains because they obviously is covered with uh, they've got a lot of cloud cover on them but we had got a nice flat calm uh, lock so we've got, got very little wind about whereas this morning we've got the opposite we'll say morning it's uh well it is morning it's 10 o'clock i've had a a lazy start to the day as a rule i like to get out nice and early but um, when i got up this morning it was uh, just uh, really cloudy again over the over the mountains and i've had uh, a few days of photographing that now so it's nice to see the tops of them so I thought I'll come out and do this one again I'll stick both the photographs up what I did yesterday so you'll have a, a moody a moody shot 
and then we're going to see all the clouds, uh, uh, sorry, all the mountain and still some clouds above them but they obviously are enough to clear the mountains today. Yesterday we was, um, we was midge city, midges all over, couldn't, because it was calm, you know, they, they come out to play, don't they? Whereas uh, today I'm hoping it ain't going to be on down here, so well, not so bad anyway. So as you've uh, have already probably said, and if I ain't, here we go. I'm up here for a couple of weeks. I'm on my own with Freddie. And all what we've done realistically is photograph Glenative. The made famous by the James Bond film Skyfall. They did one of the scenes down here and right to the very bottom you got Locative, I think it is anyway. And um, yeah, there's lots of places to stay, to stop. If you're in a camper van, there's loads of places free camping down here, which is brilliant. Come on, Fred, just a bit further. Come on, round here. And this is the spot I was at yesterday, yesterday guys. So, I'll just spin you around, just anchor him down on this tree. I see you will be able to pull that out. I'll just spin you around. There we go. So this is uh, more or less the same photograph as yesterday. You can see proper dodgy bit of parking there going on, but I'm just hoping I'll get back out of that to be honest. I'm going to uh, photo it on again inside this river now, halfway across, and I'm going to photograph that bridge with the mountain behind it. I'm going to have to hurry up because it's just starting to rain, it is coming up the valley, so I'm going to get this shot done. I'll catch you in a bit. 